Good evening, everyone. So, my next video, which I'm going to discuss with you, is uh, on the topic the difference between physostigmine and neostigmine, which both are reversible acetyl cholinesterase inhibitors, and these are cholinergic drugs. I'm going to discuss with you the difference between physostigmine and neostigmine in this video. And before I start my video, I want to request you if you uh, if this video appears useful to you and if it is helpful to you, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel that is Dr. Nitika Pharmacology Discussion. And now I'm going to discuss with you the difference between physostigmine and neostigmine. First of all, physostigmine, it is the lipid soluble drug. Why? Because it is having, it is known as the tertiary amine, means it is a uh, it is having the structure just like ammonia, like NH3. It is tertiary amine, it is lipid soluble, and it is non ionized. It is non polar and it is non ionized. Whereas neostigmine, it is quaternary amine, it has the structure just like ammonium ion, NH4 positive. It is ionized, that is, it is polar and it is water soluble. And because we have physostigmine is lipid soluble, so we can say that physostigmine can cross the membranes, biological membranes. Basically, it can uh, cross the GAT, blood brain barrier, and pupil, that is eye. When it crosses the GAT, uh, it gets absorbed from the GAT, so we can give physostigmine orally. When it crosses the blood brain barrier, it can be used uh, in the treatment of atropin poisoning, and it can be used in the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. The drugs can be used, like physostigmine can be used. And when it crosses the uh, pupil or eye, it can be used in the treatment of angle closure glaucoma. And neostigmine, on the other hand, does not cause these membranes, means these biological membranes. It takes in the periphery in the uh, body. It takes via the, uh, at the neuromuscular junctions, that is at the NM receptors it is acting. While physostigmine, it takes on the muscarinic receptors. It releases the acetyl choline in the body and it takes on the muscarinic uh, receptors like M1, M2 and M3. And neostigmine, as it does not crosses the GAT, so it, is, it cannot be given orally. It can be given by injectable, injectable route like subcutaneously on uh, intramuscularly it can be given. And uh, uh, physostigmine, it can be used in other uh, uh, diseases also, like it can be used in uh, Alzheimer's disease, it can be used in the uh, atropin poisoning and neostigmine, it can be used in the treatment of myasthenia gravis. It can be used in the treatment of cobra bite, and it can be used in the treatment of postoperative paralytic areas or postoperative urinary retention. And neostigmine is also known to be used in the uh, treatment of uh, reversal, reversal of the non-depolarizing muscle relaxant. In the surgery, we can cause the reversal of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants with the help of neostigmine-like drugs. So that's all with the difference between physostigmine and neostigmine. I hope you understood. And if you like this video, and if it is helpful to you, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Nitika Pharmacology Discussion. Thank you. Happy learning. Be happy. Be healthy. Be wealthy. Be safe. Be happy. Thank you. Thank you.